What's going on guys and welcome back to the Versatorix Gaming Channel. Today we are back on Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am hoping, I am hoping I have fixed it at long last. This is the test run. We're going to find out now whether I have actually fixed this game or not. I have completely removed Reshade. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, pray to the lords that we've got it. We've got it now. We are doing roughly, I think it's about 200, 300 miles. So it's a decent amount for us to actually know where we're going. Where is my display? I thought I had a display. It doesn't look like it. So we are doing roughly about 198 miles. We're going to see if uh, we have any issues with the, the game. Last time I attempted, it basically cut out. It froze. It crashed. We're going to attempt again today and see if uh, it is any better. If we have made an improvement. So, fingers crossed. Uh, I wanted to go then. It definitely feels like I've turned reshade off. I think this looks more like the standing game again. Though I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but it does look like the standard game again. It doesn't look like I have, I've got the reshade mod the textures on. So I am hoping that we have finally fixed ETS2. And I, I'm sure like there's nothing else for me to try. It has to be reshade causing the issues. Maybe it was because it was an old reshade version. I don't know. If it plays up from here on, I think I'm just going to have to delete everything. I'm going to have to delete the game. I'm going to have to delete the the files, everything. I'm just going to have to delete the lot. Find every single piece of ETS2 that is on this computer and completely remove the lot. Because I don't know what else to try from there on out, and that is going to that is going to disappoint me massively. If that's the case, but it can't be helped. Can't be helped. So, cross everything, guys. Really keep things crossed for this uh, this journey to go properly, to go well. Where, where's all the traffic? There seems to be like no traffic here whatsoever. There definitely was traffic in the town. There's just nothing here so far. I don't even know if there's anything behind us. Definitely not anything in front of us. Oh, there is a car behind us. There is AI traffic. I'm going to say I genuinely thought we were missing traffic then. Perhaps it's because we're in a remote part. The, uh map. I mean, where are we going? I'm not really sure just place up that, in all honesty. <laughs> Apparently 43 is the speed limit. That seems rather slow for this road. Ah, finally, AI traffic. A bus. Here we go, we're coming onto AI traffic again now. At last. I genuinely thought I was alone in this world. By the car behind me, who is no longer behind me. The game finally caught up. They was like, oh, okay, here, here, here he is. He's over here. Uh, let's put, give him some traffic now. He drove for a while without any. Probably gone into speed race miles there. I wasn't really paying attention. So, there is a couple of uh, interesting mods that I can get, have a go with. 
that I found. I found a Ferrari. That'd be cool. To do a Ferrari. I want to find a Maserati as well. I think a, Mar a Maserati mod would be awesome. That car be weaving between lanes. Did he forget that he was not taking this junction? Did he think he was taking this junction? Is his wife in the car with him telling him we've got to take this off road? Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! How did I save that? I must have clipped something. I must have clipped the. the yeah, I must have clipped it. I think I've just done it again. Yo, that was close. That was incredibly lucky. <laughs> oh no. First journey back in ETS, I nearly rolled the vehicle. That's that's a great start. That is a great start. <laughs> I didn't roll it though. You saw the um the Hellcat video I put out this week on ATS. That thing's incredible, like, the, the, the amount of times I rolled, I think I rolled that twice in the video. Just through the fact that you tap anything and it just, it just flings up, it just flings up and that's it. You're up on your, uh, up on your side and you're on your roof before you know it. We nearly ended up on our roof here, or at least on our side, in the, uh, in this scan, yeah? Unbelievable. I was close, but... I'm in half the motorway now, because I haven't finished it. say Lithuania, but I don't think that's the... Is it Lithuania's flag? Flag, rather. Is that Lithuania's flag? I feel like that's Lithuania. I might be wrong, though. Oh! Man knows his countries. Man knows his countries. Thank you for getting out of the way for me there. I've seen um, I've seen a game in early access. It's thirty quid though. It's thirty quid for early access is like really expensive. Um, it's called the bus. And I've seen a few people play it, and I'm sort of coming in iron about buying it to put onto the channel. I'm not sure whether I want to uh, bring it onto the channel, and it might be worth looking at. I mean, you guys will have to let me know. But thirty quid, a lot of money for. Uh, a game I'm not really sure of, especially when it's in early access. So, like, while the reviews are mostly positive, it just feels like there's an underlying tone that the game's a little small for the money. And there's issues with game optimization, it's not optimized very well. So, with those sort of things in mind, I'm sort of into 
too too sort of minds about it. Like, I want to give it a go. I think it'd be really cool to drive a bus and properly do passengers and stuff like that. But I'm not I'm not 100 in all honesty about uh, actually getting it at this point. And I'm worried that like it's 30 pound in early access. How much is it going to be when it's fully released? You know what I mean? Like you're telling me this is a 50 pound game because if it is. Doesn't look like a fifty-pound game. At least it doesn't yet. That may change. It may change, but the way I feel about it at the moment, it just does not look like a fifty-pound game. It does not look like a game that is worth me actually dropping thirty quid on. Especially when my car is on its deathbed, so to speak. It's not on its deathbed, it just needs a little work doing to it. It needs to go into the garage. Have some work doing. I've had a, a coolant hose. Uh, basically, split. At least I think that's what it is. No. I don't know how much that's going to cost me. I'm hoping it's not going to cost me too much, but never know nowadays the way lots of living is and everything else like you never know how much stuff is if I can get to the back of the engine to do it myself I might try and do it myself but I know it's gonna be a pain in the backside and it's winter and it's cold and it's wet and I don't know if I want to be doing that <laughs> in all honesty I might just take it to the garage around the corner and uh, see if uh, he can do it for me And he's a, he's a decent decent mechanic, so I have no problems with him actually working on the on the car on my car. And all he's got to do is change a hose. It's not it's not that hard. It's just awkward to get to, and I can't be asked to go through all that awkwardness to get to it. Something flipped on me uh, my steering wheel, then, so I don't know what that was. But. We are 44 miles away from our destination and we have not crashed yet. So I think that maybe, just maybe, I fixed ETS 2. I'm hoping so. Because I, I, I genuinely used to love playing this game. I, I clocked up something like, I clocked up so many kilometers the last, um, no, a couple of months back. And I was really getting into it, and then it just kept crashing on me, and it was like, oh, I don't want to be playing this if it's going to be crashing constantly. So I fell out of love with it because of that. And like like I said, I've attempted many different things in order to uh, get it fixed, but it just it just didn't, it didn't seem to work. So, yeah, I'm going to But if reshade, if reshade has worked, if removing reshade has worked, then we're in a good position, I think, to bring ETS back to the channel. Oh, come on, my son, there's no need for this. Your wheel isn't even spinning. He is right by the side of me. I hope I don't have to turn off anytime soon. If I do, then oh, he's gone. And he might have been it, but he's gone now. So we don't need to worry about him no more. Vehicle there with his hat done. Oh, it's a crash. I assume that truck slowed down. And we have got we have got a. Uh, Turn off here. Yeah, the, the sky looks different. The sky didn't look like this. So I do think reshade has turned off. Oh, you are joking me. Brilliant. Oh, that is not going to work. 
We got this. We did it. We did it. Let's see if we actually can do this. We go all the way. We do what it says. <laughs> I mean, this is like the most silly thing this game could have made me do. But if this works, I will be very, very pleased. If it does not work, I will be very, very upset. <laughs> because I'll be, I'll be going back the way I came. And I've got a feeling because nobody else has taken this. I mean, would the AI be smart enough not to? Would the AI be smart enough to do this? I don't know. I'm telling you, if it if it says that you can't do this, I'm not going to be happy. I am really not going to be happy. It does look like we can do it though. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Here we go. 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 I just thought it wouldn't have let us onto this ramp if uh, we can get on. There is an AI car there, so I assume that we are good here. And that the accident must have happened on that stretch of road there. Well, I can't see it. No, I don't know. At least we didn't have a massive... At least we didn't have a massive uh, turnaround. Right, having to go like 20 miles out of the way just to get this. Over the green light, over the green light, over the green light. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, this is where we need to turn. And the language came out of my mouth. I apologise. I've done so well for so many months not swearing a video. At least I think. I managed to do it in this one. What are the chances of that? Oh well. We are at our destination. Awareness for parking this, like for the size of this vehicle, is not great today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe, maybe it's just I haven't played for so long. But I do. Nice and easy, all done. Beautiful. And there we go. Beautiful. I hope you have enjoyed that little drive. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Comment down below, let me know what else you want to see within ETS2. And I will see you for the next episode very soon. Have a good one, guys.